Taylor, thank you. Scrape of the Coast wrapping up today after a weekend of unique cars and trucks parading across South Mississippi. Noah Noble has a look at how the event turned out this year and how a state ban on squatted trucks could impact next year. After a weekend of low riding cars and jacked up trucks, Scraping the Coast 2024 is officially over. At the Coast Coliseum, more than 1,500 vehicles registered this year. We'll buy the same as what last year. Eric Kendrick is one of Scraping the Coast's owners. I really think the economy having a lot of effect with people, you know, the hotel prices are up, you know, so a little bit of everything mm -hmm. keeps people from spending the money, you know, to come. I'm looking forward to next year's event, and I really think that it's going to pick up even more because we got some new stuff in store. While he looks forward to next year, the vehicles allowed on Mississippi roads is changing. July 1st, squatted trucks with more than a four inch lift will be outlawed. Kendrick says he's not surprised. You know, if I've seen an accident going out there, you know, on, on 90 already once, so, and that's, that's the product of it, is because you can't see. Since the Coast Coliseum is private property, the trucks could still be allowed on the grounds, but Kendrick says it's too early to know how it will affect next year's numbers. And at the end of the day, he just wants everyone to have fun. As long as they behave themselves, I don't mind letting them come. You know, we want people to enjoy this coast as much as we did growing up as kids. It's just a lot of fun. It's kind of like you're hanging out at a really big uh, picnic, family picnic. Naomi Oresti and her family drove from Texas to be here. We are a clothing company out of Willis, Texas. Uh, we travel to car shows, bike rallies, tequila festivals, or just about anywhere. But Scraping the Coast in Biloxi, Mississippi is one of our favorite events to come to. Even before we were a business, we were coming with our own custom vehicles as participants. They've made that drive along I-10 for more than a decade and don't plan to miss next year. We love the participants, the spectators, the promoters of the event. They just make us feel like home uh, when we come here to Mississippi. And we just love the, the environment, uh, everything that's out here. In Biloxi, Noah Noble, WLOX News Now.